we know that things are going to clear out because um, it's kind of uncertain out there. Question is when? Uh, in, the, in the next little bit. First, we have to get this this next line coming through. But by the time we're at 10, 11 o'clock, I think we're going to be seeing those clear skies okay. taking over for everyone, and we won't have to worry about any of this where we have rain, some thunderstorms, potentially even some small hail. This is down Waynesburg to Whiteley, and this is crossing over 19 and will be crossing over 79 here in the next little bit. So this is well south of Washington right now, and that's where we have this cluster and there's occasional lightning and thunder with this. And the bigger thing is some heavier downpour. So the wipers will have to get pushed onto the, the high speed there. There's another cluster back to the west, but this is largely driven by the sunshine that broke out today. So that's given the atmosphere just that little bit of a lift needed to help pull off additional showers and thunderstorms. So as that sun continues to lower in the sky, these are going to lose their steam and we could have a couple passing showers over the next couple of hours, but generally we're going to be clearing it out. We do have plenty of sunshine here. What a beautiful shot of Point State Park. Look at that. The fountains going. Everything's green. The leaves have popped out. Just a beautiful picture looking down from Mount Washington. For most of us, we have this mixture of sun and clouds. Just know just a little south of Washington. We have that thunderstorm there and temperatures generally in the upper 60s but we still have 70 degrees in Beaver Falls. Beautiful evening for the most part for a walk with the dog. And again, there's just going to be that isolated shower possibility, but you can see we're going to have those mainly clear skies breaking out and still temperatures near 60 degrees by the time we get towards 11 o'clock. And this is a picture of Bella with glasses on. So Bella can see the forecast a whole lot better. Now we have these uh, first batch of storms that came through this morning. Those are already clearing out of Pennsylvania. This last little cluster, what we're talking about for this evening is pushing through right back behind it. We have high pressure. High pressure is sinking, drying air. So you, you probably started to feel the first effects of that with the big drop in humidity that we felt today and the sunshine that broke out. That's going to continue to keep those clouds away for tomorrow, but late Wednesday, <clears throat> Excuse me, we have some thunderstorms that want to develop this with the next system. This is also going to start to push in some warmer air and our temperatures later this week are going to start to take off. So when it comes to the satellite and radar showers and storms back to the west right now, these are going to lose some steam and you can see how future cast shows they die out over the next couple hours. Then once we get to 10 o'clock, I don't think we have to worry about rain anymore. It's just clear skies. Might even be a little chilly for some as our temperatures start to dip down into the upper 40s and low 50s for lows tonight. So early tomorrow morning, a little cooler than we become accustomed to. Temperatures to about 70 degrees, so much like we had today. So if you found today to be cool, especially after the temperatures we had late last week and through the weekend, you're going to find tomorrow to be pretty much the same. A lot more sunshine though. Wednesday clouds start to increase later in the day. We turn on the rain and at times this rain is going to be heavy and some of this is going to carry over into early Thursday, but generally we're going to be wrapping that up. So I don't think Thursday is going to be a washout tonight about 50 degrees. We're talking upper 40s in Butler and Franklin 49 in Connellsville. Generally, it's going to be a pretty nice looking night. Come tomorrow, highs near 70 degrees, almost area wide. Couple spots up in the ridges, a little bit cooler, but overall 50 stray shower over the next couple of hours and we're going to clear those skies out. I think you're going to like how tonight turns out tomorrow. Absolutely beautiful day. If you're going out to vote, the weather should not be an issue. Bright sunshine all around. Increase in clouds Wednesday, later showers, early showers Thursday, Friday. We bring back the heat 87 degrees with that higher humidity. The humidity carries over into Saturday, but an approaching cold front will kick in some storms and drop those temperatures for early next week.